Hey guys, I'm Squall and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, uh, like I always do, up in the top right hand corner, right up here, you should see a nice little link that says uh, click here to subscribe. If you do that, you'll get updated on all my new videos. Uh, I want to let people right off the bat who come for my gaming videos, this is a Windows 8 tutorial. Uh, so if you don't like Windows 8 or if you don't like tutorials on Windows 8 and you're more here for my gaming videos, you might want to click off here. I should have another one go up here pretty soon, Black Ops 2 or some Minecraft. I'm thinking about doing some Xbox Minecraft. So uh, just keep your guys' eye out for that. Anyway, uh, today's topic is going to be a really quick one. It's going to be how to disable your Metro UI or I guess enable the Windows icon so that you get your old Windows 7 feel back. I had a couple of people who were interested in it, so I thought I'd put one together. Now, it used to be you could do a regedit hack or um, go through your CMD. That doesn't exist. They removed those. Now there's a program you can get, and it's a third-party program, or there is a way you can do it with your Windows 7 disk, um, but personally, this program, it's only five bucks, uh, and it's a really neat program, and it's called Start8, and it's uh, made by startdoc.com, and then this is the uh, this is where you're going to want to go to find it. It's going to be HTTP, uh, www.stardoc.com, slash products, slash start8. Uh, you want to go to the link and download that. You can actually look at the website, see what you like about it, if you want to download it or not. Uh, there's a 4.99 version. There's a trial version. You can try for, I don't know, I think it's 30 days. I went ahead and downloaded the trial so that way I could show you guys. Anyway, it's a pretty simple program. And uh, they also have a $50 version of their program, and it has a whole bunch of stuff, which includes another one called, uh, I believe it's uh, Decor 8. And then with Decor 8, you can change your Metro screen right here. You can change the way it looks, the background, things like that. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe trying to get a, a trial of that just to try it out, see how it looks. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing you do is you need to go download it. Once you've downloaded it, you'll have to enter in your email address. They'll send you a link. I promise it's safe. Um, they'll send you a link to go download it. You download it and you will have this. Now, the first thing you'll notice is as the administrator icon, that's going to tell you that you need to run as administrator. So instead of just double clicking it and opening it, you want to right click on it, oops, right click on it and go run as administrator. And then you're going to say yes. You're going to want to agree to the terms, next, next. Uh, if it has anything that pops up and says install this toolbar, things like that, always remove those, uncheck them. Uh, my sister is the worst, I swear, I just got her laptop the other day and she had about nine toolbars on her on her Explorer browser. So. Anyway, make sure you guys uncheck those. This is it. This is your screen. As you notice, a little menu popped up or a Windows icon popped up here. You can jump back and forth for different versions. I'm going to show you real quick some different things. We're going to close this right now. It's installed, so we're going to close it just to show you what the default looks like. So once I close that, there you go. That easy, that quick. It's just a you know, normal Windows 7 look to it. Now, there are some different things with Start 8 that are you know some add-ins okay so if I go to the start 8 and I say how about Windows 8 style and I can change the way this looks but uh, let's just go click on Windows 8 style just to see what it looks like there you go so now you have your start button and you have your Windows 8 uh, Metro UI start screen whatever you want to call it so uh, you can change that uh, so let's go ahead and do some more changes so let's go to here and then let's type in start 8 click on that you can change it to tall, wide, large, full screen. So let's go to full screen and see what that looks like. So we're just going to close that and boom. Looks just like your Windows UI. So uh, pretty simple. Simple. I like it. It, uh, it has a lot of customization. So let's go ahead and jump back into that again. So we're just going to open that up. Start. Oop. A R T. Start 8. And then let's. Uh, Let's see, so we're going to go back here, let's say we can configure, you can configure what is displayed within your start menu, just like any other start menu from Windows 7. You can control uh, what buttons do what, and uh, how they fade, you can tr control what the desktop looks like, and then it has an about. Um, under the style, I know you can change your different themes, so uh, what your Windows 7 style menu looks like, uh, you can go to a rounded theme, which is a mix of Windows 7 and 8 or just straight Windows 7 theme. Uh, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do within this program. I like it pretty well. Uh, it's a lot of 
you know, it, it, it helps people switch back to that menu if they want it. Me personally, I'm going to stick with the Windows 8 Metro. I like it. A lot of people complain they can't find their apps, they can't, you know, and if you've installed it, you should remember what it's called. So uh, if you're new to computers or you just don't like it at all, you can switch to this. But personally, me, uh, you know, I'm going to go back to the Metro UI. So real quick before we end this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uninstall it and go back to 100% Metro. Um, if you install it and you just want to go back to Metro for a short time, I showed you how to do that. Basically, you're going to open your Start 8. You're going to click your Windows 8 style and full screen. And basically, once you've done that, you're back to your full screen um, Windows 8 Metro UI look. So you can do it that way or you can do it um, the other way which is, uh, so let's go ahead and open up the Start 8 and we're gonna go, let's just for a few seconds go back to this one and close. Then we're gonna go to our control panel and uninstall program and basically what you're going to do is you're just going to completely uninstall it. So uninstall, continue, next, boom. That easy. It's going to pop up. It's going to say it's been removed. You're going to get a little icon afterwards. Or you should anyway. There it is. You're just going to click finish. There you go. So that's how you can disable, re-enable. Re I'm sure some of you guys are going to want to get this program. For five bucks it's pretty cheap. So. Uh, it's probably worth five dollars to some of you guys let me know what you guys think in the description uh, in the comments sorry not in the description in the comments of this uh, tutorial if you liked it make sure you hit the share button and the like button and favorite and as always make sure you click on that subscribe right up here in the top right hand corner thanks for stopping by guys